protection. There may not be wings. Fly your family. There may not be wings. Fly your ministry. There may not be wings. Fly your business way. Lift your hand and shout fire. Lift your hand and shout fire. Lift your hand and shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it down. Now listen. Listen. Take it down. Thank you. Listen to me. I have limited time to pray for you. Stretch your hands. How many of you hate money? How many of you love money? You love money? Put it down. I have two ministries. Those that know me too well, know me very well. Mr. Carlo and the wife are my bosom family friends. They know me. Mama, Mama knows me too. The I have two ministries that God gave me, healing ministry and finance ministry. If God is God in my life who has called me, I decree 45 of you as I lay hands on you, anywhere your money has been buried, it shall be brought out of the ground in Jesus' name. Stretch your hands. Poverty is a cause. Poverty is a disease. Moneria is worse than malaria. Moningitis kills faster than hepatitis. When a man lacks money, he doesn't know his right. You may have five million now, but you're a potential poor man. <laughs> you're not understanding me. There are people that have five million in their account, but they are potential poor men. They have suspended failure waiting for time to crash. There are people that have ten million now, but the devil has written that in the next six months they'll be begging bread. So they are potential poor people. I get them before no be property. Poverty is a disease. In Luke chapter 16, verse 19, the Bible said a rich man was made available and a poor man by name Lazarus. And Lazarus was eating from what fell from the rich man's table. The Bible said one day the rich man died, Lazarus died. The rich man was buried, Lazarus was carried. The Bible said one day the two of them died, this one was buried, this one was carried. And the rich man was in hell. Listen, Lord. In hell fire. Sending a man in heaven message. He said, Abraham, tell Lazarus to go to the world. Preach to my people. Tell them to repent and let them not come here. Now listen, a man who was in heaven was ready to leave heaven and come back here. He was wearing his sandal. He could not reply to the rich man because he was a poor man. Poverty mentality from the world was still affecting him there. It was Abraham who was a fellow rich man that said, you are going nowhere. They have Moses. They have Elijah who will preach there. And that was how Lazarus did not come back. If Abraham did not talk, Lazarus would have left heaven to return because of poverty. Stretch your hands. I want to terminate the, the, the era of lack. 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 Lack is running away. Jesus Christ. I say lack is running away. But I'm talking about those. Please, can I have the Bible? Can you open for me Job chapter 42? Open it. Verse 7. Let me shock you. Look at me. Please don't sit. Look at me. The Bible said... He prayed, God did answer. He said, God, what will I do? God said, kill an animal again for me. And he said, God, I have no animal. And God said, God, borrow. Borrowing is allowed if you need greater glory. There are five people here who God told me before I came. He said, whatever they will do, they will have to borrow it to do it. If you borrow it and do it, God will bless you immensely. Listen, it's going to be heavy on you. Job 42 verse 8. Are you there? Job 42 verse 8. Now look at what the Bible said. He said, now take unto thee now seven bullocks and seven rams and go unto my servant Job and offer for yourself burnt offering and my servant Job shall pray for you. For him I will not, I will, I will not, for him I will accept thee lest I deal with thee according to your feeling in that you have not spoken of me that which is right as my servant Job has. So Eliphaz the Tamnite and Peter the Shuat and Zophar the Namathite went and did according to the Lord commanded them and the Lord accepted Job. <laughs> and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And God gave him twice as much as he had before. Look at what happened. Look at the, look at the, the irony. Job said, I have no animal. God said, go and borrow. Before he went to borrow, God had gone ahead of him, told his friends, carry 14 animals, come meet him. And remember, Job was the killer before. 
that kills animal. The Bible says when they got there, they handed over the animal to Job, and he began to kill. Who God blesses is he, he sees the blood in his hands. He was the one that killed the animal his friends brought. The Bible says when he prayed for his friends, God left his friends and accepted Job. Even though the animal was not his own, but he was the one that killed the animal. So you can borrow and be blessed. Can borrow. Most of the time, whatever that made me who I am in life, the time when I started prospering in life was when I borrowed. I started preaching when I was nine years. My first crusade, I was nine. The CD, I still sell the CD till today. I was wearing coat and canvas. You know what's a coat? Coat is not, this one is suit. Coat is those ones that the shoulder is here. Amen. And canvas. I was on the stage. They kept me on top of stool. I was preaching and I was talking. I started preaching when I was nine. I saw my first million in life when I was 17. At age 22, I prayed for a woman in Abuja who had breast cancer. She gave me 22, 200 million when God healed her. She was an ex minister when I was 22 years. The next day, I ran and I married. Yes, I'm 26 today. I have a wife and I have two children. Don't look at me like that. Am I communicating here? Whenever, listen, before God blessed me, I was 16. Omar was preaching. And when Omar was preaching, I got to the place where Omar was ministering. I'm talking about Reverend Dr. Mumbai. He called for those that would give a seed of 450,000. I was 16 years. I was a preacher already. So I saved some money. I had 250. I didn't know what to do. I ran out at 16 years. I came out and I stood there. He prayed. I said, bring it tomorrow. I said, Jesus. I know there are graces that grace is grace. Such graces, when they comes upon your grace, your grace becomes grace. You don't need to disappoint them. If you don't fulfill it, there's an issue. So I said, what will I do? I went home. I went to my mother. I borrowed 60,000. I borrowed from my father. My father is a bishop. My grandfather was a venerable before he died. My great-grandfather was a prophet. He brought Anglican to my place. So I came from a lineage of pastors. Now listen, I got to my father. I borrowed. I borrowed. I got borrowed from people and I made it up. And that evening, when people were redeeming the money, I carried the 450 and I brought it to the altar. The man said to me, where is your father that sent you? I said, I came myself. I'm a preacher. Papa man looked at me. He, he shook his head. After praying for others, he poured oil on his head, carried it from his head and touched on my head and spoke one word. He said, the wind that gathered him will gather me. And I said, Amen. When I said that, Amen, power came on me. I fell and I slept. I didn't know what happened. But from that day, the grace for extra wealth has been released. And the Lord sent me to share that grace upon the head of 45 people. I don't know who I'm talking to. But if they have placed a curse of poverty on your head, by that oil, that curse shall be broken today. Thank you, Lord, because it has been released. Jam those hands together for Jesus. Thank you, sir. Can someone shout hallelujah? You know, this is fifth anniversary. So this is the first time we're inviting another minister. For the first four years, we've been using one minister during our anniversaries. And Pastor Felix is in the house. But you know the truth. A true mother always has a jukokoro for the children. True or false? True or false? True or false? Alright? Man of God, we are not true with you yet. Everybody here, both Pastor Felix and Evangelist Ibenado, will have to touch your hands. So that as you go, that hands will be the hand of an achiever. You will find yourself doing exploits like never before. We say that this is anointing for greater glory. So as they touch the anointing with their hands, they will just be standing here. You will just be coming out. They touch your both hands and you go back to your seat. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that will also be the process of our taking the offering. As you're coming out with your offering, you drop it on the altar. They touch your hands, you go back to your seat. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, can Pastor Felix come out and the man
men of God come out so that we can share the grace in the next two minutes. Praise God. Are you ready now? Amen. Hello. Am I the only one in the house? Oh, their mouths are busy. Sorry, men of God. You will need to stand here so that they will just go around you. Praise God. Can we start coming out now? Let's not waste time. Let's not waste time, please. We've overstayed. We have people going towards a limo show tonight. And all the FGF chapters that came in from outside the country, they need to go back and rest. Praise the Lord. 
Can we all be on our feet to share the grace? Oh, sorry. We have an anniversary cake. Just stretch out your hand towards the cake and thank God for our cake. Tell the Lord that we will continue to move from one level of glory to another level of glory. I don't know why they are laughing at me. I think I'm always forgetting anniversary cake. Once again, I'm remembering about shouting grace. Now, Lord, we bless you. Thank you for the grace you have released these five years. Lord, for everybody here today that has tasted cake on these grounds, 2014 for them shall be a year of grace extravaganza. Anything that pursue, they will catch. Whatever they believe you, God, for you will give to them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thanks, thanks, we give you thanks for all. Yeah. 
concerns the ministers, let them not just leave us without being blessed. You are all blessed and you are highly in favor. Amen. again and my name still remains Laura Zakolari We've come to the end of the program and here with me is the founder. So she will tell us more about FGF so far. Amen. Amen. I just want to bless God for everything that happened here today. Actually five years ago FGF started out of a vision that the Lord has given to me and um, indeed we have seen the grace and glory of God. We've grown from strength to strength. I look at what happened here today. I don't know what else to say, but to say, I bless God. During the first anniversary, I remember we couldn't even rent a hall. So we had to borrow a redeemed church, and we did the first anniversary. But during the years, it has been a case of glory to glory, from one level of grace to another level of grace. And today, FGF is just all over the world, and we bless God. The empowerment program, I remember the first empowerment we had to do. I think we gave someone 5,000 naira to start a business. But today, the empowerment has gone global. Now we give out cars for taxi, cab, power of association. And of course, 15 is already on the way gone. And we bless God all for everything that he has been doing. Because we've seen his hand, um, I look at everything and I say, this is none other but the finger of God. Because he has led us, he has been with us, he has provided, even when he looked as if, how are we going to do it? But you find out that the Lord just made a name for himself. He did it in such a way that we have nothing else to say but to say, I bless God. I watched the man of God today when he was talking. I was just remembering what happened with me in FGF. I remember when I had to give out my first car. In fact, I actually happened to give it to the second man of God that um, came and ministered. And he was asking me, I hope you're okay. I said, of course, I'm fine. And he had to escort me for the first time since I got married. I had to do um, a, a bus. I entered a bus and I came home. And I remember what happened before FGF went global. I was watching TBN, and then um, we were asked to sow a seed. Mike Modoc talked about a thousand dollar seed, and I sowed a thousand dollar seed. And that self same year, it was as if the spreading of FGF was now running faster than the speed we could catch. At a point, we started praying for grace to meet up with the speed, and today here we are. That is why we ended it all by singing, "Great is Thy faithfulness." Who are we that He's mindful of us? We just operated in obedience, and his hand carried the rest of it. I bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, Mommy, was the program up to your expectation with the way you planned it? I didn't have any expectation. I just wanted the Spirit of God to move. And I saw God move in strange dimensions. So, I return all the glory back to him. Thank you very much. So, what's your advice for the viewers now? I want to tell you that if you're not doing anything for God, you're living in the past. The reigning thing now, the internet town, is to find yourself a partaker of kingdom service. Position yourself to serve and love your God. Don't always want what he will do for you. Begin to think of what you will do for him. You're blessed and you're highly favored. Can you just tell us in brief about your family? Just say something about your family. Okay. Of course, I'm married to a lawyer, works with the federal government, and um, he has always been very supportive. I usually tell people that I don't think I would have been able to marry another man, because the kind of support he gives to me is amazing. Blessed with three children that also love Jesus, they were here today, and we celebrated together. I return all the glory back to him. So for now, if people want to get you, can you tell us your office and where they can come to look for you? Of course, they can come to number 74, Ogudu Road. That's the counseling and information office for FGF. 
or they can call 080-584-66101. So thank you very much, Mommy. You're blessed. Amen. And that's all we have for today. My name is Tirumen Lawa Razakola Thank you very much.